Hello Capricorn and welcome to my channel Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a reading for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs looking at your recent past, current energy, and immediate future. As always, I've gone ahead and pulled the Oracle cards, clarified those, and then I have the overall energy that I've already pulled. I do that so that we can go ahead and jump right in. All right, Capricorn, this is an exciting reading. I can already tell. I like the energy in it. The other two have been a little bit, because it's the third reading I'm doing today. The other two earth signs have been a little bit heavier, um, but this is a good lighthearted reading that I feel like is going to um, provide a lot of hope. So, so stick with me. All right. In your recent past, you have relaxed with the hangman in reverse. Um, your recent past was not so lighthearted and fun. I feel like there was a lot of frustration. You could have hit, you know, some bumps in the road that you weren't expecting. Um, some, like, it just feels like, uh, like what felt like just unnecessary trouble, I guess, could be a, a good, a good way, good way to put that. But, you know, if there's anything I've learned about this journey is that when I'm facing kind of the big, the most frustration and things like not going my way and just feeling like everything's crumbling, when I can get through that period, usually a lot of really good things start to happen. And I feel like that's kind of what this is about. Now, I still feel like you're coming out of this energy in your current energy because you have Trust all will be at well with the Page of Swords because the way that I see this and what I actually heard, like when I pulled the overall energy, which we'll get to in a second, was a lot to be excited for. So there's in your current energy, Capricorn, I mean, you there is a lot that you have to be excited for in your future. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to happen all at once and it doesn't mean it's going to come overnight or anything like that. But I do see that like when it comes to your future, when it comes to your path, there is a lot you have to be excited about. Um, and, and this is about really believing to trust in that while also having the patience and knowing that it's happening. But you kind of got to learn to go with the flow, right? Got to learn to go with um, the flow of the path to get there. Now, the overall energy is greatness and abundance. This is what you have to look forward to, greatness and abundance. Um, and that's when I heard the, before I even pulled the Page of Swords, which to me is like excitement and, and kind of energy, like almost like looking at your future through the lens of like a child who looks at like going to Disney World, like the, the, the possibility and the excitement of um, what, you know, they're about to experience is so, so big. And so present and I feel like that's really what either the energy you're, you currently are in or the energy that you're really needing to tap into because I do feel like there is a lot that you do have to look forward to because then in your immediate future you have the nine of pentacles with take a breather and so it feels like things start to happen for you and it, it, it does feel like it's kind of like one thing at a time like it doesn't feel like it's just like bam you know, here's everything you've ever wanted all at once. It feels like it's one step at a time, which is the way it should be, right? Um, but I feel like you start to see things happen for you, which allows you to kind of go <laughs> a little bit because I feel like you've been like in your reset past, it just feels like, I feel like the super tense energy and that's why you have this relax is it just feels like you're like, oh my God, is this ever going to happen? Like, is this, am I headed down the right path? Like what the heck's going on? And then your current energy, I feel like you're kind of like, you know, still dealing with that tense energy, uh, but trying to keep a, a positive outlook. But then your immediate future, it feels like you're like, okay, things are starting to fall into place. Um, like good news kind of makes you like relax. Like I just, I literally see like a kind of energy. All right. Capricorn's recent past, starting with relax and the hangman in reverse. For Capricorn's recent past, please. Recent past for Capricorn. There's the magician. This is about something you're trying to manifest. Because um, I feel like you are trying to manifest this your, this stuff, this stuff, this greatness, this abundance, this, um, you know, joy, the all of it, right? Um, abundance really is kind of the all-encompassing term. You were dealing with some burnt out, though, some burnout in your recent past. I feel like it's like, you, you know, I, I feel this kind of energy, though. I'm being totally honest, Capricorn, a lot of things have happened. Like if you looked back to where you were like a year ago, two years ago, you've had a lot of progress, but your focus has been on where you haven't, where you, you aren't yet, as opposed to, um, wow, look at how far I've come. Now I get that. That's super normal. But I do feel like that's kind of why in this energy that you're currently in, where you have trust all will be well with the page of swords, the universe is saying, hey, remember, 
where your focus goes, your reality follows. If you focus on your excitement, you know, for the possibility of your future, then that's what you're going to start to experience more of. If you focus on, oh my gosh, I'm still not there. I'm still lacking this. I still have this to go. You know, I still have to do this. If you're focusing on that, you're kind of going to feel weighed down by the journey and the journey is the point, right? And so your recent past is a lot of um, kind of dealing with that frustration. Because you haven't received what you deserve yet. You, there is an imbalance in terms of what you've given versus what you've received. And, and there's a need to kind of hold on to the realization that scales always balance out. You will always receive the energy you get back. You, you will always get back the energy that you've given out. That's what I meant to say. Um, but it might take time, you know. And, and I feel like it has taken time. And that's where this frustration and kind of burnout has come from. But let's see. Recent pass for Capricorn. Look at that. Because this is about, yeah, this is about this nine of pentacles, the same nine of pentacles you start to see in your immediate future. But you have the ace of pentacles in reverse. No, that's, that's up, that's up, right? That's up, right? There's a, yeah, it is the ace of pentacles. <laughs> so you have the opportunity to receive what you want. The opportunity is already yours. It's already yours. That's, the, it's already yours. That, this is yours. This is this already exists. It already exists in the, you know, in the 5D. It's about just allowing it to trickle down into the 3D now. I mean, magician nine of pentacles in your recent past. That's not too shabby. Recent past for Capricorn. Just feels like like the universe is like, hey, chill out. You're good. Like it's it's happening. You just kind of gotta gotta believe that. Ah, there's financial struggles. It doesn't just have to be financial. It could be just feeling unstable in your material environment, and that could be like where the frustration is stemming from. Is it's like I don't mind waiting to get there, but it'd be nice if I had like my material needs met on the path there. And that's this energy of realizing that you do. It just might not yet be to the extent of what you're looking for. Meaning if you look back at the past, you know, year or two years of your life, realize that you've had, you have had everything that you've needed to get you here, to keep you breathing, right? Some way or another, whether it was a fight or a struggle or whatever the case is, you have had everything that you need to get you here. Now there's a level of you I feel like that's like, well, I'm tired of the fight. I'm tired of the struggle. I get that. I really, really do. But that's why it's almost like, you know, we've got to go to go through the struggle to overcome the struggle to start to, to actually attract what it is that we want. So, you know, trust in the process here, because I really feel like there are a lot of things that are working out for you. I not I don't just feel I mean, I, I see, you know, current energy for Capricorn. Current energy for Capricorn, clarifying trust all will be well uh, with the Page of Swords. Start getting excited. Yeah. This is a fun energy. These other two readings that I did today weren't as fun, but this is a fun energy. Ooh, but you're dealing with lots of fear. Try to see through the fear right now. Try to see through the fear. Because, and I trust me, I know that's so much easier said than done. Because I feel like your fear, your fear wants you to give in. Your fear wants you to give up. Your fear wants you to pull back to your comfort zone. You know, I'm trying to think, like, wasn't that, yeah, Capricorn's reading last week was like, I don't think you want to walk away from this yet. And that's kind of what feels like is still kind of happening. This is also still a reading for February. It's just, you know, I try not to do too specific of timestamps. Just when these readings are found, you know, they're for whoever needs to find them. Um, so if this reading is a little redundant from last week, I apologize. But um, if there's anything I've learned, again, on this journey, it's that if we, if I'm hearing a message over and over again, it's because I haven't yet fully internalized that. So if this is a message that you keep hearing, like, like believe in it, like believe it's already yours, like believe in the potential, not the, um, not the anxiety, you know, d believe, believe in your, 
Don't believe in your anxiety about the future. Believe in what's actually happened. Like, look back at how far you've come. That's what I'm trying to say. Look at how far you've come and realized, oh my gosh, I've made it so far, which means I can only go further, right? Or I can give up and pull back to my comfort zone, whatever whatever you want to do. But I certainly recommend the former over the latter. All right, current energy for Capricorn. Try not to let your perspective, ooh. See, you feel really burdened by this path right now. You feel really burdened by something right now. It feels, whatever you're investing in feels more like a burden, I feel like, than a, a path to abundance. Let me clarify this Eight of Cups. But that's with the Ten of Cups in reverse, and then the Nine of Swords, it's saying, but that's because... That's because it hasn't yet, it hasn't fully manifested. Like it's, it's like this, this situation that you're investing in hasn't yet reached its full potential. Now, if you are in a relationship or dealing with a career or, or a boss or whatever the case is where you have just consistently not been having your needs met and you feel like you were at a place where you're like, I deserve better than this. You know, I, I just can't do this anymore. Like it, it is taking, a, to me, it's always the 80-20 rule. I, I did mention this in the last reading I did and it extended, but um, my, my therapist once brought up the 80-20 rule to me and it kind of changed my perspective on a lot of things because obviously nothing's ever going to be perfect. No situation, no life will ever be perfect. But if 80% of the time you feel good, and 20% of the time you feel not so good about something, then that is something that's worth keeping in your life. Now, if 80% of the time something's not so good and 20% of the time it is good and you're spending 80% of the time chasing that 20%, then maybe it's time to reevaluate. But the situation that I'm talking about here, it feels like something that truly aligns with what you want, like, like a dream or a goal or something someone that you truly love now make sure you're not loving someone else over yourself right like you kind of have to find that balance and that's where i always say take what resonates you know take how, whatever resonates and helps your personal situation but understand that i feel like this is just what you're what's happening right now the frustration that i feel like you've been experiencing is very much a rough patch this doesn't feel like this is how things always are it feels like you're going through a rough patch with something. Because this can be the need to kind of manage expectations about like how and when something comes to fruition. Interesting. Current energy for Capricorn. I feel like you have so much like I just hear like keep going like just keep going hmm. the ten of swords with a hermit in reverse hang on because this can mean oh, the three of pentacles You would betray yourself by giving up on something. I just feel like I have to be so careful when I say that because, again, these are general readings. They are not going to resonate for everyone and they're not going to hit home with everybody's situations. And if you're dealing with a situation where you have truly been treated poorly, if you're dealing with manipulation, if you're dealing with, you know, abuse in any way, shape or form, if you're if you're dealing with, you know, um, a, a, a boss that's taking advantage of you and taking advantage of your time. Like that is not what I'm talking about in this reading. This is about something that truly aligns with your heart that you would feel worse off without than with it in your life. Almost like, like, <laughs> and that can go for a lot of toxic relationships too. So I'm having a hard time, like, like, I mean, that's where I kind of have to leave it up to the viewer. You know, it really is about, you know, taking it that resonates. But this is about a situation that 
you deserve. This is about something that you deserve. And building, building on a foundation that exists already within a situation. It's not going, you know, going back to something. It's not about staying in something regardless of the fact that you don't feel regardless of the fact that it it makes you hurt every day or whatever the case is, like this is about something that you are just frustrated with and you fear that it's never going to get better. Now, if the majority of this is the last thing I'm going to say, if the majority of this situation has been frustration and the other person has made absolutely no, here's what I should say. If you're in a situation specifically a relationship where you have consistently asked for your needs to be met and you have been trying your hardest to to meet the other person's needs, but the other person tells you that your needs are too much or that they are not capable or they don't have any interest in meeting your needs, or if they tell you, yeah, absolutely, I'll change, and then they obviously don't show any change in behavior, that means get the heck out. This is about giving a certain situation and it really feels more like a career-based ordeal than like a relationship-based ordeal, but it really feels like a situation where you've asked for your needs to be met and you are now in a position of this being built to have, and, and when I say ask for your needs to be met, it could be from like asking the universe, hey, I really need these financial needs to be met. Could be that kind of situation too. And then having the faith that it's working out. Because again, with the trust, all will be well in the Page of Swords. This is about being excited about your future. That's not rooted in like false hope about some situation that's always been the same, ever changing. That's not what this is about. I just feel like that was a bit of a warning that I had to say. All right, let's switch gears here to your immediate future, Capricorn. Because I feel like all you want is this breath of fresh air that I feel like is coming in your immediate future. Immediate future for Capricorn, clarifying, take a breather with the nine of pentacles. Apologize if my voice sounds weird too. It does, it kind of does sometimes to me. I just, I I was like in bed sick all day yesterday. It was was the weirdest thing. It was like one day I'm just feeling really sick for no reason. Okay, no, sorry. Immediate future for Capricorn. (laughs) There's the Hermit and the King of Wands. What is this Hermit trying to say? Because there's the Wheel of Fortune too. Ooh. Remember that your reality, especially your relationships, but also your relationship with money too, like your reality is a reflection of your relationship with yourself. It is and always will be. So if you're frustrated with a person, if you're frustrated with something not coming to fruition, take a look within. Take a look within. Figure out what within you is being reflected back at you through someone else. For instance, like when I was in a not so great relationship, um, my lack of self-worth was always being reflected back at me. And I would get really frustrated with him. Like, why aren't you showing up with, with, you know, what I deserve? Why don't you show up for me? Why don't you, you know, give me what I deserve? And I realized, oh, well, you have no interest in doing that, right? So I ended up having to kind of walk away from that relationship altogether. Um, Or in my current relationship, healthiest relationship I've ever been in, when we're having an argument, when we're having a fight, when we're having, which we don't really fight, we have more like the need for communication more so, not even disagreements, just like moments of like, (laughs) it's the best way to describe it. When we're having those moments, the first thing I do is when I start to get, when I feel like I'm frustrated at him for the little things, or I start to feel reactive toward him, the first thing I do is say, what is, what's wrong with me? What's going on with me? What, what, not, it doesn't take him, leave him off the hook. But in order for us to communicate properly about whatever's going on, I have got to figure out my side of things. And usually what it comes down to is my lack of compassion for myself gets reflected in my like lack of understanding and compassion for him when I start, you know, getting poked, poking at the little things. I don't know why I felt the need to say that, but what I'm getting at here 
is the situation that you're the frustrations you're dealing with externally it's reflecting some sort of internal battle you're going through in fact i want to get clarity on it what is the hermit saying Because remember, the abundance is created within first. It's as above, so below. There's the four of swords and there's the three of wands. The four of swords and the hermit is kind of like the same type of energy I'm feeling in these specific cards. But there's this need to, like, can I get clarity, more clarity on this? It's like... How you reflect on how you're looking for a situation to align with your comfort zone as opposed to with growth. That's a big thing. Interesting. That was an interesting message. That was kind of like an off-the-wall message for this reading, I feel like. All right, immediate future for Capricorn, because I feel like when you can find whatever within is being triggered and address that, then it'll clear whatever blockage is keeping you from whatever it is that you're wanting, which ultimately feels like financial independence. Like that's that's what this kind of comes down to for me. King of Swords in reverse, the Queen of Cups in reverse. So yeah, your immediate future... The reason you have this kind of like energy is because it's almost like you're, you work through and what you're currently doing is working through all of the reasons you don't believe you're deserving of what you're trying to create here. Because it's almost like you, you trick yourself it's like you trick yourself into believing that you deserve what you've always experienced. Or like like if you've if you've always struggled in a financial way, then you you know, you kind of believe you always will, kind of thing. This is interesting. I didn't want to take those two messages because I want more. I want that felt more like this hermit message. So I want more energy. Current or immediate future for Capricorn. There's the sun. Because then you have the sun and the three of pentacles. So this is this is the more of the energy that I was kind of looking for here. Like things starting to come together, but it's almost like you've gotten yourself into such an, a mindset of expecting the worst that that's what's blocking your abundance. You expect, now it's not that you're trying to, you might be consciously trying to expect things to be better, but it's almost like you expect the worst from someone or from a situation you know in the book the secret by Rhonda Byrne which is a great fantastic amazing book that I recommend everybody read um it's kind of cheesy but it's it's still good it's a really good overview of the law of attraction but anyway um it talks about specifically in real I'm going to talk I'm going to tie this back to a relationship even though I keep saying that I don't feel like this is a relationship Still a general reading, so take it as it resonates. But she talks about in the relationships, what she see, you know, what where people are in a relationship with someone, the more that they focus on the like the frustration behind somebody doing something they don't like, the more that person doing that thing appears in the relationship. But the more that you can focus on the positive qualities that a person has, the more that you actually start to see those things in a relationship. Now that can go for any situation. The more that you focus on the positives of something, the more you will see those things. Where your energy goes, where your focus goes, your reality follows. The more that you focus on the negative qualities that someone or something has, the more you will see more of those things in your reality. So that's why this is saying, yes, you can expect good things, good things are coming, but also there's a little bit of work that you have to do here to shift your focus from the negative to the positive. Because that's what's going to create better. One more for Capricorn's immediate future. It's almost like the pieces start to fall into place in your immediate future here, Capricorn. 
there's the nine of swords in reverse because yeah there it's like you 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 start to relieve yourself of this anxiety Because I don't feel like the ultimate opportunity you're looking for, like it's almost like the big, the big thing that you're wanting, the big change, the big, whatever the case is. I don't feel that in your immediate future necessarily, but I feel things start to align to provide you with the path for that thing. You release your fear of it never happening, or at least a level of it which starts to attract one, you know, one step at a time kind of energy. You do. You have a lot to look forward to. I mean, the sun in, in your immediate future with the nine of pentacles, that's it's not too shabby. We're going to hop on over to the extended. I'm going to dive into some advice as well as get some deeper clarity on these messages um, and then pull an advice card from the divine at the end. Thank you guys so much as always for the support of my channel. Um, it means more to me than you know. I wish you guys absolutely nothing but love and healing on your journeys, and I do hope to see you back in the future. Bye, Capricorn.